Welcome back, Disney friends. I'm Christina Kay, and I have <laughs> a massive Walt Disney World haul. So I did go this fall, but it was a little bit ago. I went the end of September, beginning of October. We've got stuff from Epcot 40 in here. I got the map staring at me. We've got stuff. We got like a couple of Halloween things, not that major though. We were there huh, when they offered the 30% off for annual pass holders. I am a Walt Disney World annual pass holder, so I kind of justified some things, but but it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I haven't seen this stuff in a minute. It's kind of been sitting in bags. So it's going to be a surprise for me too, some of the things. But some of the things I do remember and I've been really excited to use. So I wanted to film it now. Thanks for bearing with me on this. Um, let's get into it. And also know that more hauls, massive hauls, are coming soon. So let's talk about some of the Epcot 40 stuff. It's going to be mixtured into here, but I did want to show you the really cool park map. I love the colors here. Um, it was a beautiful day, beautiful commemorative guide. Um, we didn't get to experience everything that was going on. I wasn't feeling the greatest that day or during the trip, but uh, we definitely had an amazing time. Regardless, I got to go with my best friend, Alyssa. If you missed that vlog, I did a mini vlog for you guys. I will link that up in the eye down below. When you walked out of the park that day, they gave you um, a poster too. I have to find the posters though. Someone packed them and I don't think I've seen them since. Let's get into the clothing of the trip first. We've got some Epcot 40 in there. So the first shirt I've actually already worn. It is this beautiful red t-shirt. It's got the Epcot 40 logo there. It says the date of the 40th. I definitely wanted to have something that showed I was there. And then we've got this like 40th logo on the back with all the these icons here in the circles are all their new like neighborhood logos. So there's like one for the land. I don't really know what all of them is that they're going by now. That park has changed so much, but it says celebrating 40 years of imagination, Epcot 40. I just really love that it was a red t-shirt. So it's very comfortable. Like I said, I've worn it already. And I've actually gotten some of these as a gift which I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in the pile now. <laughs> I don't even know where to put all this stuff. This is the zip hoodie for Epcot 40. Um, it's super comfortable on, so it's got that 40 logo again. I think this is one of the items they will have throughout the 40th celebration. I could be wrong though. We've got some stripes on the blue here. I loved the gray and blue combo. I wasn't like thrilled with the stripes, but I wasn't not thrilled with it. On the bottom, which side is it on? This side. We've got a colorful figment. I think I wish that figment was on more of this. Or you know what, not necessarily figment, but Spaceship Earth. I feel like there wasn't a lot of Spaceship Earth stuff and that's like Epcot to me. Also, Spaceship Earth is bay. And on the back, we have that celebrating 40 years of imagination again with the like, what do they call them? The neighborhoods, right? The neighborhoods colors, Epcot 40. I like that this one was a zip hoodie. This I think is their best-selling t-shirt for Epcot 40 and it's blue, the 40 logo there. It doesn't have the date because this is one that's gonna be continuous. And what I liked about the back of this one, it's got that same 40 years of imagination, but it also has a figment sketch there. So super cute. And I love this blue color. Another Epcot 40 shirt, this shirt, this was a day of one. This one is so, so soft. And it's got the old school Epcot logo, love the colors. And then it says Epcot 40 and the date. I am so obsessed with the shirt. It did run very small though. So I had to get a bigger size. So soft, just, it's great. And it's the day of, you know, it's Epcot. I love the colors there's nothing on the back. It's just plain, but I loved this one. So that is no longer, anything that had the date from what I understand is no longer available. But I'll let you know soon cause I'm going down real soon. And then I think this is the last piece of Epcot 40 clothing. I know it's a lot, I kind of went crazy. It's got that print that was like on the back of all of them on the front and I just really like it with this royal blue color. I just love it. We all got this because it was just so nice. The hood has all of the neighborhoods. The hood's a little much, yeah. It's got like this um, print and then like all the logos and the back is figment. Very, very colorful figment. And it's like a cropped hoodie. It's got like a tie on the front. Where did, where did the front go? Right here. <laughs> it's got a tie there on the front. So it's a little oversized, but then you can make it fitted, which I liked. And again, 
30% off is kind of why I went ham. All right, let's talk about some other clothing items that I got. This is so funny. My best friend and I, we flew down together and on the plane, she was talking about the sweatshirt that she saw on Instagram. And I was like, ooh, that sounds like something I would like, but chances are they probably don't have it anymore. Well, they only had our size left, which was our sizes, I should say, left. And I am so excited about it. It says the most magical place on earth with the castle and Walt Disney World. Okay, that makes me think of the 50th Cavalcade, the most magical place on earth. Answer the call. I guess. I love it, so special. And I love the colors, this pink, this like almost like a purple and blue. That's so my vibe, this ombre gradient effect on the back it's plain and let me tell you it is so super soft and I don't know if you could see like the silver glitter details there love it so very much I cannot wait to wear this it's finally like getting to be sweatshirt season yesterday was like 75 degrees here which for November that's crazy today I have a hoodie on but I'm not gonna lie I am sweating this t-shirt I got on the first day kind of had 50th vibes to me although it is not dated and I got it a little big it's a, I think it's a women's size, but it's got all the characters on it. Look how cute that is. I love how they look on this. I love how soft this t-shirt is. The blue, the colors, the Walt Disney World, the sun, where are you going? <laughs> but I just really thought the characters all looked incredible and I love that Goofy and Daisy are on it. But I love all five, of, oh, six of these characters I can count. <laughs> so cute. Like I said, it is a, it's a little big, but I don't mind it a little oversized. Rather it be that than tight. Okay, I saw this hoodie in Aulani, which I'm pretty sure I showed that in one of my store tours, so I can link that video up in the eye and down below. They look the same on the front, so it was this teal hoodie, again, super soft. It says Disney Vacation Club. I am a DVC member. I love the teal. It's got, you know, the kangaroo pocket there. Kangaroo pocket, that's what they're called, right? But on the back of that one, it said Aulani. On the back of this one, it said Old Key West Resort, which... I love Old Key West. That is home to me. So many beautiful memories there. So I love having an Old Key West one. I think they also had a Saratoga one of this. I didn't see it for some of the other resorts, but I'm not gonna lie, I would love it in another resort, but I only need one of this. But I just thought this was amazing. And it had matching sweatpants. So again, they had these in Alani, but they were Alani ones. It says Disney's Old Key West Resort, the little Vacation Club logo. It has pockets. And then down the uh, sides of them, it says Disney Vacation Club Resort in that teal. So together, these look absolutely amazing. And now I can finally wear them. Let's talk about another hoodie, shall we? Um, <laughs> it's so rare that you find Chippendale merch or cute Chippendale merch, and they had so much this trip, but the colors were weird. Some of the materials were weird. This was the only thing that I was like, I need. It's another soft hoodie, and it's purple, and it's got my guy Dale. Dale is my favorite. I kind of liked this tie-dye with the sunglasses on. Uh, it's a regular hoodie with a pocket. Again, super soft, super cute. I only saw this in Hollywood Studios, so I don't know if they were selling out of it or it was new. I don't really know. Back is plain. I love the, the colors, the purple, and Dale. I don't have anything solo Dale. Another sweatshirt that I got on the last day. I had seen this, I think back in February, and it only was like really big sizes, and then the next trip in May, it was sold out, which if you want to see that May haul, because that was massive too, I will link that up in the eye and down below. But then I saw it this trip on the last day, and I think this was like only one of two sweatshirts they had, and one was in my size, so I had to get it. Feels good to be home. Again, super soft. I love the meaning here. Disney is definitely my home. I can't even explain to you how soft it is inside. It's a little big, but I'm okay with that. Um, I cannot wait to wear this down there. It's a gray blue. So I don't know if like the light in here is doing it any justice, but it's like, it's not like a solid gray. It's got a little blue tint to it, which I dig. So this sweatshirt is actually a gift for my mom but I got the wrong size. So hopefully when I go in a couple of weeks, I can get her the right size. Otherwise this is gonna be huge on her. I'm thinking I will keep this if I can find her size. Again, super soft hoodie. 
and so different. So it says a ghost will follow you home. It's got like the two different colors here. And then on the pocket, look at him. Phineas is my favorite of the ghosts, so I love that. And then you've got all these like haunted mansion sayings here. Beware of hitchhiking ghosts, call in the spirits. Uh, you may now kiss the bride. So cool. A lot of the haunted mansion merch was weird. It was like all different materials and colors, but this one I thought was cool with the purple on the hood, the teal and the gray. Definitely my aesthetic. And it's kind of, it's not subtle, but it's like more subtle because like you have a stitched ghost there, which is really, really cute. Oh, it's purple on the bottom too. So I really hope I can find her size because this fit me perfectly and my mom is tiny. So we'll see. I did show this shirt in a haul couple months ago. It was big. I ended up giving it to my best friend. She wore it. It looked amazing on her. So I did get a smaller size one of these and I wore it and I loved it. This was a very popular shirt. I saw a lot of people wearing it and honestly, everyone looked good in it, which is not always the case for all over prints. But this is part of the vault collection and I finally got my size. Look, it's still a little big, but the small definitely fit me better. And I love the colors on it, I really do. I got to hang out with my cousin for a bit. Uh, I think she's like, you can hear and see her a little bit in the food and wine video. And she bought me this shirt. She bought one for her and one for me. I have the Disneyland one, but she said we had to have matching Walt Disney World ones. So it was fun when I got off of uh, Guardians with my best friend, she had this waiting for me. So that was really, really sweet. And now we have matching shirts. We always end up getting matching shirts down there and here too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have two button downs. So the first one, I think I'm going to try with an outfit this week at work. Um, I'm going to show you the back of it because it's hard with the front, but it's got all, it's a cream color, very soft material. And all these uh, Minnie and Mickey's are stitched and they're old school Minnie and Mickey's, which I really think is so cool. Can you see like Minnie right there? How cute that is. It's long sleeves, but I think what I'm going to do with this is wear a black dress and then just tie this over. I think that's going to be really, really cute. So it does have, does it have a pocket on the front? I think it does. I do have to iron this. Oh, yes, it does have a pocket on the front. So I think this is really cute. I like toyed back and forth with it, but I think with the black dress, it's going to be amazing. This is one of those back home items. Kind of reminds me of the shirts I recently got at Torrid, which it was my first time ever shopping there. So if you missed that, I'll link that up in the eye and down below. Then again, I'm going to remind my family members, if you're watching, I don't think I did that yet. Please look away. I got this for my dad, but what had happened was I was so excited that the price was different. The tag price says, $115. And I was like, that is a lot of money for this. But I, with the um, the shop in store feature on my Disney experience, you can scan something. And with your annual pass holder discount, it will appear and you can see how much it's going to be, which I highly recommend if you're in the Emporium or I was going to call it Mouse Gears Creation Shop, some of those bigger stores um, where there's a there's a wait, I highly recommend buying on the app. It's so simple. Um, but when I bought this, it came out to a lot cheaper than even $115 with the 30% off. So I was so excited that I just bought it and I didn't realize I bought the wrong size. It was also my last day. There was a lot going on, but my dad loves these button downs. This is again from the vault collection. It's like all these old school buttons. And again, it's such a nice material. It kind of reminds me of the shirts I got at Alani but I love it. It's just so, so fun. So I'm hoping I can get his size when I go down there and then I can keep this one because I do like wearing these with skirts when I do broadcast. Um, my radio show gets to go down to Disney World, Alani, the cruise, Disneyland and broadcast. So my next Walt Disney World one, I'd love to wear this, but we'll see if I can find it. My girl Betty from Betty Says has been looking for me and uh, I might have, I might have screwed up there. So we'll see. Fingers crossed that I can find the right sizes for gifts. I'll let you know coming soon. <laughs> um, and just so you guys know, the clothing was all stored in this. I know this is like very outdated at this point, but I got the Halloween reusable bag for this year and I've had it all been storing in there. So cute. And it's got the pattern. Um, the Halloween stuff this year didn't like super catch my eye like it has in years past. Um, so I only got that and this. I did get this and I got one for my sister. 
this was the Halloween Donald candy corn sipper. So I'm, I don't use these as sippers. They are decor pieces. It says Disney Parks with um, Donald and those little ghosts there. But these are the only two Halloween items that I got this year. And this is just, I think this is so cute. They had a Funko Pop one like it, but it wasn't as cute as this. This is super cute. I'm trying not to buy any more sippers or popcorn buckets though. It's a lot easier. Now we've just got a bunch of blue bags sitting here and I don't know what's in them. Here's another Epcot 40 piece that I actually ordered on the app the morning of. They didn't have it in the store, so technically I did not get this at Walt Disney World, but it is for it's fitting for the Epcot 40 and it's Figment on Spaceship Earth. So cute. Look how dreamy Figment is. And it says Epcot 40 and it does light up. Did I? Oh, I have to pull the thing out, don't I? and it lights up and glows. Oh, it changes color. Yeah, that's really, really cute. I love that. And it's got all the, I'm sorry, this tag. It has all the neighborhood logos around the sides and the back, but that's just so cute. They had a statue like this too, but the ornament is definitely, look at the feet on Figgy, Figgy feet. Um, the ornament definitely had to happen. The rest of the stuff came from the parks and the Epcot 40th stuff came from the day of the 40th. So I got, this is another day of peace, this tumbler, kind of hard to see with the light, but it is stainless steel. It's got this awesome color here and it's got all these different figments around the Epcot logo. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard with the glare of the window, but it says Epcot 40 and it says October 1st, 2022. I was there, so it was very fitting. It's dishwasher safe. We love that. Gotta wash it now. It's so funny, I saw Betty from Betty Says get this and I was like, oh, you convinced me to get it. Apparently, I had already gotten it. <laughs> it's the Guardian's ride vehicle. I relate to this because I scream like Garuda's so much and I hold on just as tightly. I love this attraction. I love collecting ride vehicles. Um, yeah, highly, I mean, they're, they're, they're fun. I know they're kids' toys, but I just display them in my studio. I've got a bunch of them right now that I just love. Look at Groot's like knees, his legs being so long. It's so funny. I miss it. I can't wait for the holiday overlay coming soon. What is this? Oh, so I was kind of getting annoyed by the necklace that I wear down there. It just like flips around all the time. It's getting kind of old. So I got this one. It was in a Rebus Brothers Mickey necklace. I got this at Disney Springs. And it's got a little heart in the middle of the Mickey. It's so cute. You know it's Disney, yet it's got that little heart. It's kind of subtle at the same time. It's adorable. So, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice on the back. It's got a Mickey there too. So had to get a new necklace and this should last me a while. Oh yeah, okay, so I brought these to Hawaii and only one came home. So I wanted to make sure I had another pair and with a 30% off now was the time and they're just the gold Mickey earrings. They definitely don't make them as nice as they used to, but I was able to get them so I was happy. I have these in silver and I wear the silver ones all the time. So I have this in Grand Floridian, Polynesian, and Contemporary. And I figured, you know what? I should have all of my favorite resorts in that. And Old Key West, like I said, is home. So I got the hand-painted ornament that they have of Old Key West. And I love the lighthouse. It's just like a very homey feeling to me. I love these. These are super popular and they have them for just about every resort, if not all of them. And you could just see them in Papa's Den in there. So cute. And on the bottom, it's got Disney's old Key West Resort. So yes, I love these ornaments. I forgot I got this one. I bought a couple of these and I'm thinking I might do one in a giveaway. <laughs> I got uh, some as gifts too, but look at Figgy <laughs> in his Epcot 40. I like that this wasn't a big plush. It was so cute in his little t-shirt. Oh my God, I love that it stands too. Look at his wings on the back. Oh. I just love Figment. He makes me so happy. And the fact that this guy stands, I was like, well, I can find a place for him. And he wasn't huge. I appreciated that it was like a small, almost like a beanie baby kind of size. So like I said, I bought a couple. Might have one for a giveaway. Stay tuned. I had to see if my one friend wanted one first. I bought a pair of pants. 
Walt Disney World fans with the 50th logo. This box is gorgeous, and I will let you know this is not the only pair of 50th fans I got. You will have to see in my upcoming shop Disney haul, or Mousselini's haul. I'm going to put it in one of my major upcoming hauls. But this one I got in the parks on that first day, and I'm glad I did because I didn't see them after that. And it's this Mickey. Look at how cute he is with the castles in that blue behind it. And it's got that famous like Vans checkered print. I love these slip-on ones. These tend to be a little bit more comfortable for me than the tie ones, but I thought these were super cute. They have a lot of like sweatshirts and shirts that go with it. And I might have to get one when I go down. They do have them on Shop Disney. These are sold out on Shop Disney from what I gather, but I might have to get one of the things to match. And not that I don't have anything else to match it, but you know, I just think this box is gorgeous. I usually keep my bands in the box so nothing happens to them. I'm running out of space here. Because I was there for uh, the Hurricane Ian, they did like all their games and puzzles were 40% plus you got your 30% on top of that. So I had been looking at these for a minute and I got them. They are the 50th puzzles. So it comes with four, an Animal Kingdom, a Spaceship Earth, Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom, Cinderella's Castle. I think I will frame these two. I don't know if they're, they might be too big, but I might have the perfect spot for these and the color combinations of those. So we will see, but yeah, 50th puzzle. I did it. I got them and it was a great price. I think originally it's $35 and I think it was like $12. It was amazing. So it was worth it to me. And my parents got one of these as well. I think one of my other friends um, texted me about it. I was like, oh yeah, I know, I already got it. I also got this game for my sister and I. This was our favorite game growing up. It's the Candyland, the Disney theme park edition. Just look how fun that looks, if you can see it. I know there's a glare because there's a wrapper over it, but it just looks so, so cute. So I had to, to get that as well. And this was, it was like $8. So I know it's like a kid game, but we are kids at heart. So I'm excited to play this. Oh my God, Tiana with her beignets. I miss the beignets. This is, this is a really, really cute box. So I might have to show her this in a little bit actually. Oh, I totally forgot about this bag. Okay, so these were gifts from my girl, Betty. I got to see her on the 40th and a little bit on my last day. And she picked up these goodies for me. We have Feeling Fan Fantastic. So I guess I did get a Halloween shirt this year. Um, so cute, I love this. This is from the good old t-shirt wall that I love so much. Gotta pack that with my Halloween stuff. Oh, that's already in my attic, isn't it? And then I had asked her to pick this one up for me before Hawaii, and I just didn't get a chance to get it before that. Going through life like hey, hey, let me take the size off there. Um, I will be going back to Aulani because I loved it that much. And uh, I think we'll be doing another broadcast there probably next year. So I got the wardrobe, you know, I'm saving up the wardrobe. So I have an awesome shirt. And I love Hey Hey. And I like this color too, this aqua color. It's like a heathered color, which is cool. And then she got this for me and I didn't even know about this, you guys, but Goofy is my favorite. <gasps> it's so cute. She wanted to give it to me now because she was afraid I'd buy it for myself. I, like I said, I didn't even see it. Look at how cute he is. I love the colors on this, that there's like a purple shirt because purple's my favorite, but yet it's still got the orange. It's so soft, it's so cute. Look at the little patch. His pants, I can't. And then on the foot, it says Goofy 90th. Goofy was a big part of my year. I mean, he's a big part of my year every year, but when I did my show on the Disney Wish, I got to not only hang out with Goofy, but Bill Farmer, who's the voice of Goofy. I can link that vlog for you guys up in the eye and down below. So this is even more extra special for me. So Betty, thank you again. This was, this just made me so happy. Look at the tag. Oh, I love him. Oh, everything's falling. Everything is falling. Got some fragile things. Um, the first thing is the first thing I think I got on this trip. I had been looking for this for such a long time. And it is the Starbucks mug, the 50th one for Epcot. Let me take this out of the box. Oh my God. I love the colors on this. We got Spaceship Earth. We've got Cranium Command. Mine, mine, mine. Soren, Figment. Uh, was that the American Adventure? Um, oh, it's like some of the food from World Showcase, like the sushi. 
um, I guess these are from like the Land Pavilion, the 50th, the Trolls from Maelstrom. We've got Mary Poppins. Um, we've got Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, the old school Epcot logo, Push, a croissant monorail, Living with the Land. Oh, I love the milk from Food Rocks, Kitchen Cabaret, I miss that. Test Track, um, Body Wars, the Mexico Pavilion. I think, is that just a topiary on top? We've got, it looks like we've got the Moana boat up there, maybe? We've got the Morocco Pavilion, the guitar, I'm thinking it's like Coco, Mexico. We've got Starbucks, a butterfly for flower and garden, some fireworks, illuminations. I'm sure I missed some stuff on here, but I just had to get this one. Oh, we've got um, Pearl from Finding Nemo. This one just made me so very happy, and I'm so happy that I have it in my collection. I also got another 50th Been There series. I love these mugs. You know what? They're not that much more than regular mugs in the park, too. These were the only two ones I saw, but these were the two that I wanted the most. So I also got Magic Kingdom. I'm not going to name all the stuff again. I'm just going to show it to you because <laughs> my eyesight's very, very bad. But I love the pink and purple combination in this one. Look at Sunny Eclipse on the top. I love him. So, so cute. I just, I love everything on these that it just meant so much to me to get this. They even have Tron on there, but this is like a selling point for me. Mr. Toad, never forget. So yeah, so cute. I can't wait to finally start using these. Do you guys use these as display items or do you actually like use, use them? Okay. I don't know what this is. Oh, another one of those kind of ornaments. So like the old Key West one, they have these for attractions as well. So we've got Pirates of the Caribbean, one of my favorites. You can almost smell the pirate water, almost. And then it's just got a mural inside with all the pirates. I've got the Peter Pan's Flight one like this. I think that's the only other one I have, but Pirates is also a really big favorite of mine. I honestly have no idea what this one is. Oh, right, from um, Food and Wine Festival. Beignets were a part of my trip at uh, Port Orleans French Quarter. My best friend and I got some Mickey beignets, and I love these trash can salt and pepper shakers. I collect them. They had a Mickey one too, but I figured I don't have anything with Tiana, really, and the beignets were a big part of the festival, so I forgot. I get to add this to my collection, yes. Okay, and I think all we have left are the pins. So you know what? I think I'm gonna do a separate video for the pins. I just did a pin video uh, earlier this week too. I'll link that up in the eye and down below. So if you wanna see the pins I got in Walt Disney World, cause there's a lot, make sure you're subscribed and stick around. Like I said, I'm staring at piles and piles of hauls right now. It's crazy and I'm about to go back to Walt Disney World. So lots more magic is on the way. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day.